Hi guys, Daniel here from Rush Faster, and today on the channel we are checking out the Loctote Flax Sack 2. So guys, this is the Loctote Flax Sack 2, and what's special about this bag, this is a bag that's designed to keep your valuables safe when you're traveling, when you go to the beach, and stuff like that. It's not completely theft proof, but it's absolutely designed to stop your average everyday uh, thief from taking it because it's going to be really hard to steal this bag. So we're going to check out the features of this bag and see if it's something that's going to work for you, for your needs. So having a look at the exterior of the bag, firstly what it's made of, you would think, okay, if I'm a thief and I want to get into this bag, I'm just going to cut this, right? Well, this material is a very special material. They've got the name of it here. It's called Flacknit. It comes from Honeywell's UHM WPE Ultra High Molecular Weight Polyethylene Spectra Fiber, which is used in police vests and military gear. So this is a really durable cut-proof fabric. I think this is an A9 cut protection, so there are nine different levels, A9 being uh, the hardest to cut through. You know, if someone tries to get in there with a knife, which is, I mean, in a lot of countries, unlikely. If they're gonna try and do that, they're not gonna be able to get through it. I'll put some links in the description about Flacknet and also about like the A9 protection. So you can't cut into it. And then uh, these straps use the same sort of technology that Heavy, heavy duty, really hard to cut through. The same UHM WPE cut resistant cinch ropes. We have little reflective bits here as well if you're cycling or walking at night and it's a little bit safer. Then the patch and the accents here are all uh, natural leather. Cool, so on the front of the bag, we don't have any exterior pockets of course on this because we want everything secured inside. We have this drawstring back strap system with our sternum strap here which you can use if you wish then on the front of the bag we also have this little lock holder section so the lock goes in here so that it doesn't draw attention to it and also when it's not being used you can put the lock in there nice and easy so let's open the bag up and have a look inside put some beer in here don't want anyone to grab it so i'll put it inside my lock too so we're just gonna invert this bag so that it's nice and easy to see. So this is the interior of the lock tote. And what we've got in here, this little police line, RFID protected pocket to put your passport, credit cards, money and stuff in. Really good that it's RFID protected because you know people can come along and uh, take the information off your passport, take the information off your credit card if you don't have it inside a RFID protected pocket. So that's another security feature there. We've got this little uh, carabiner to put your keys on, keep them from being lost. Down the bottom here, we've got how the straps connect to the bottom of the bag. These straps are replaceable as well. You can get different straps, put them on, or if something happens to the straps, you can replace them. On the other side of the bag, we've got these just two pockets. So nice and simple interior. The RFID pocket really comes in handy. And then we've got this little loop here as well for hanging the bag. This is incredibly heavy duty, really over engineered. So nothing's gonna break on that. Let's uh, take this bag inside out again. And then if you have a look at this lock, it doesn't look to be a cheap lock. It looks like they've actually given you quite a good lock. So it's a 13 liter capacity. It weighs just under a kilogram. In fact, it weighs 0.91 of a kilogram. In terms of what laptops it'll hold, can easily fit a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Let's see if it'll lock with that Pro in it. Yeah, not gonna have a problem with that. So you can fit a 15 inch MacBook Pro in there, uh, nice and easy. Just for reference, that's pretty much how big it is. Let's see how the bag locks. And I'm gonna protect my beer. I'm just gonna pop my beer in there. And just show you how the locking mechanism works. So basically what you do to close the bag, just like you would expect, you just uh, pull these straps tight here. But this, these straps don't actually lock the bag. So what locks the bag is this at the front here. I'm just gonna lie this down and, uh, and pull this out. This is the padlock that comes with it. Okay, so what actually locks the bag is 
this strap here. It's a double steel reinforced locking mechanism. So basically what you do is you just pull this until you see these stainless steel grommets coming out. And basically what you do then is you use the supplied padlock, put the lock through those two grommets, and then you can lock the bag shut. Now, if you want to tie this to a pole or something like that, which is probably advisable, because otherwise they can just walk off with your bag, you just wrap this strap around a pole, put the O-ring through the padlock, and lock it like that. And now, now the bag is completely locked. It's attached to the pole, and you can't get in it, you can't cut it, and your goods are protected from the everyday criminal. Pretty cool, actually. This is uh, something that's gonna be really handy at the beach this summer. You wanna put your car keys, your wallet, your phone in here while you go for a swim. Just lock that to the uh, rail at the beach and away you go. No one's gonna get into that anytime soon. Also, what you can do is you can put this padlock back down into the tab once it's locked, just to make it a little less obvious that you're trying to protect something. So. Just make it look like you've got a bag sitting up against the pole and not draw attention to things. So that's basically how the lock works. Look guys, this is a really unique bag and definitely something that most brands can't make. These guys have been working very hard on making sure that this is an incredibly secure bag and it's, it's just such a unique bag in the market. Definitely something to consider if you go to places where you need to leave your bag unattended. Now, in places like Australia, leave your bag unattended at the beach probably not a huge issue, but you know, people can still be watching you and might steal something from you. So this is just, this just gives you the peace of mind that no one's really gonna get into this. And so you can just go for a swim or for a surf and not have to worry at all. It's a cool bag, I really like it. If you guys want to uh, check it out a bit more, I got some links in the description below so you can check those out and see where you can buy it in your country. But guys, this is a Loctite, 100% recommended for me. It looks really sturdy and pretty awesome.